Hello everyone, welcome to Infigya. In this video, we will be solving one exponential equation for the value of x. Solve for x. Equation is 3 plus root x whole power x. 3 plus root 8 whole power x plus 3 minus root 8 whole power x equal to 4. Let's say start. See this product term. If I will take the product of 3 plus root 8 and 3 minus root 8. Then we know obviously the formula of difference of a square. A minus B square. This is what we know. A plus B in one bracket. And A minus B in second bracket. So it is visible. A plus B, A minus B. I will write 3 whole square minus root square root 8 whole square. 3 square is 9. And that is 8. So 1. So equation will be 3 plus root 8 times 3 minus root 8 is equal to 1. So, 3 minus root 8 can be written as in its rational form. So, 3 plus root 8. 1 over see numerator over denominator. So, let me write here. Equation will be 3 plus root 8 whole power x plus 1 over 3 plus root 8 whole power x is equal to 4. Now, 1 over a whole power x by exponent property, anytime I can write a raised to the power minus x. So, this will become 3 plus square root 8 whole power minus x equal to 4 and this value is as it is. 3 plus root 8 whole power x. Now, obviously it looks like 3 plus root 8 whole power x if we will consider y. So, let us consider 3 plus root 8. Let me write 3 plus root 8 whole power x equal to y. This is our assumption. Okay. So, equation will be y plus this will be 1 over y equal to 4. So, y square plus 1 equal to 4y multiply by y both sides and then if you will take away 4y from both sides equation will be ultimately y square minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. Very important equation, quadratic equation. Now, we will target to simplify this quadratic. Okay, let us start. y square minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. Let us start by quadratic formula minus b. So, 4 plus minus square root b square minus 4 square 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1. So, 4 over 2a. So, 2. 4 plus minus square root 12 over 2. 12 is 4 root 3. So, 2 root 3. So, it will be 2 root 3 over 2. So, ultimately it will come out 2 plus minus root 3. Two solutions are there for that quadratic equation. y square minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. First one is 2 plus root 3. Second one is 2 minus root 3. So, that is y. y is, let me change, y will be 3 plus root 8 whole power x. This is our y equal to 2 plus minus root 3. Okay. Let us put 3 plus root 8 whole power x is equal to 2 plus root 3. And second time I will write 3 plus square root 8 whole power x will be equal to 2 minus root 3. Now few things about root 3. Root 3 we know root 3 is 1.732. So let's apply. Let's take log. As you can see 3 raised to the power 3 plus root 8. This should be positive then we can take log. So it is because root 8 is positive number 3 is positive. So obviously it is positive. So let's take log 
x log 3 plus root 8 equal to log 2 plus square root 3. Similarly, second equation 3 plus square root 8 equal to log 2 minus square root 3. Divide both sides by log 3 plus root 8. So, x will be equal to log 2 plus root 3 over log 3 plus square root 8. Here also divide by 3 plus log 3 plus root 8. Equation will be log 2 minus root 3 divided by log 3 plus root 8. Now we know that log root 3 is 1.732. So it will become log of 3.732 and divided by root 8 is 2.828. So 5.828 in the denominator. Put both the values. One value is 0 0.5719 and denominator says 0 0.7655. If you will divide both values, your x value will come out 0 0.747. Now come to the second equation. Second equation will be, if you will put the value, simplify that value will come out negative 0 0.717. So two values are there. If you want to check your answer whether it is correct or not. So let's see for one value only, x is equal to 0 0.747, okay, x is equal to 0 0.747. Now let us put equation 3 plus root 8 whole power 0 0.747 plus 3 minus root 8 0 0.747. I have calculated, put that value, it is coming out, 3 plus root 8 is 5.828 whole power 0 0.747 and this value is 0 0.172 whole power 0 0.747. So that value is 3.731 and this value 0 0.172 whole power 747. That value is coming out 2.6, 0 0.268. So once you add, it will come out 4. That means true. Check is true. Similarly, you can check for x is equal to minus 0 0.747. So that value will again, it is coming out true value. So hence, your answer is x is equal to plus minus 0 0.747 I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe right now thanks a lot